It looks like MVP's hired himself a new mercenary. The violent spit. His opponent telegraphed that one. A vicious blow to the opponent. He puts the boot to his opponent. Hit him with strikes. In a jaw-jacking punch. He's not going to get caught with that one. Three, come on, move it. Okay. There's nothing fancy about Put that. Put him in the ground. Put move. him in the dirt. That sets up bigger things. One. Oh, the punch connects. Two. Three. Get back in the ring. Cena's left MVP rattled and left his world in tatters. But quite honestly, JR, it couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. <laughs> And there it is, the FU. Six. What an impact! He's going up. So well, what's he gonna don't do when he gets there? Cut you out. Eight. Oh, did you see that? He drops the elbow. A vicious storm. Okay. Oh. All right. Hey, so. It's there like he go. read his opponent's mind. There we go. Nope, he uh, blocked it. Okay. Hold on, hold No! The submission is locked in. This could be huge. Oh my gosh, JR. You can't go along without tapping out to this. I'm getting better at that, hopefully. Maybe that was just lucky, but I think I'm getting better at that. He's intent on leaving a mark on the opponent. Schnitzies equals ratings. Oh, it does look freaking tough. Oh man, no. What a counter! Oh, what a tackle! Knocked the opponent down. Delicious. There we go. Hopefully, I can defeat him with this. Liberation has come in the form of John Cena. And you can't help but feel that better than Utopia might be a government on the verge of collapse. A vicious storm. And that punch lands far. He puts the boot to his opponent. No! What the heck? One. You're smart. One. What a sequence of punches! How great Two. was it that Cena stripped MVP of that necklace? You might say he took his word. Three. We knew these superstars Four. weren't going to be easy on each other, but this is too much. Four. I know these superstars want to keep going, but I don't know if they're going to be able to for much longer. Five. Oh, you want to stay out here? Stay out here. The FU. Six. Look at that. No fear whatsoever. Seven. What an amazing oh, Lord, superstar. Keep it up. A striking elbow staggering the opponent. What a spear. That will put the lights out permanently. Got me. Uh, he's intent on leaving a mark on the opponent. What height on that leg drop? It's not enough to get a piece of MVP for Cena. He's looking to destroy the man. And he won't rest until the volatile destiny has been removed from office. And here there we he go. goes, taking advantage of a stunned opponent. I got him. <laughs> did I win? <laughs> did I win? Did I? Yeah. What's gonna happen? This is just like a. It looks like yeah, Cena's a... revenge is complete, Jr. I don't think so, King. Something tells me he won't be satisfied until he gets MVP face to face, one on one. MVP's not so easy to catch, though. 
I think he proved that tonight. MVP can run from Cena, but he can't hide. <laughs> Play as the hockey Snitsky. Remember to brush your teeth. <laughs> Joining us tonight, ladies and gentlemen, after battering MVP in his car last week, John Cena got his wish. The two will face off at WrestleMania. Yes, JR, but Cena's got a match tonight, and MVP doesn't. That could tip the scales in the Utopian's favor. With the granddaddy of them all, WrestleMania only six days away, anything can happen. Yeah, anything can happen. Hey, Cena, I just wanted you to know that I won't be there tonight because I'm taking care of better than utopian business. You mean you're hiding for the last six days before WrestleMania, MVP? Oh, yeah, that. Our match at WrestleMania will be held under utopian rules, you know. Yeah, well, I have one condition. We make this an Iron Man match. That way I have plenty of time to impeach you, Mr. President. A guarantee. 15 minutes of kicking your ass around better than Utopia Square? You're on! First minute is coming up fast and I need to uh, save my strength. I should try to wait to make a script, but I'm saying you know, do <laughs> Two and a half minute? I'll do it. I'll do it! And Kennedy's got the unenviable task of taking on the impressive John Cena. And once he gets past this challenge, it's the Utopian President, MVP. You mean if he gets past this challenge, JR? Kennedy's not gonna roll over and play dead. Honestly, though, why do I have to fight him again? What an explosive power bomb! Oh, the punch connects! I have a feeling at WrestleMania, MVP will learn that there's only so far you can push him in. And when you attack his country and injure his friends, you can count on there being hell. There'll be no amnesty, JR, no diplomatic immunity. Cena's gonna take no prisoners. Oh, what a hack! Knocking the opponent down. He's intent on leaving a mark on the opponent. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to uh, do it and I think I'm probably wasting my... I was giving the noble shuffle or whatever. Uh, but it's going to be hard to put in the, the middle of the ring. Yeah, it's going to be hard to do this. See? Ah, oh, man. He puts the boot to his opponent. He's not going to get caught with that one. This just kept flying and flying. Wow. In six days, come on, come on. the showdown between John Cena and the better than Utopia president will be more than a match. Yes. <laughs> awesome. And there it is. That's In 33 seconds to spare. <laughs> I honestly didn't think I was going to do it. Awesome. John Cena definitely looks ready for his match at WrestleMania. You better be, JR. 15 minutes with a man like MVP can take 15 years off your life. Make sure you join us on Sunday for WrestleMania. Good night, everybody. Now I get to go on the match exhibition. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the granddaddy of them all. WrestleMania. Jim Ross and Jerry Lawler here, ecstatic to welcome you tonight. No other event in entertainment comes close to the excitement level of WrestleMania, JR. And this year's promises to be the biggest one yet. Our main event certainly promises intensity and intrigue as John Cena and MVP will compete in an Iron Man match. Let's look at how this showdown came about. It started at Tribute to the Troops, where MVP lost to John Cena. Along with Umaga and William Regal, 
MVP actually seceded from the United States, proclaiming himself the president of Better Than Utopia. They ran roughshod over the WWE, even stooping solo as to assault John Cena's military friend who had come home injured. Cena then went on the offensive, taking out the Utopia. Now, he and MVP will square off tonight. Who will emerge victorious? We'll find out. How about I do it? Oh, wow. Wait, wasn't that like something that Ezekiel and John Cena used to do? 